Welcome back everybody. Today we have a new box to look at. I guess it's an envelope. Let's get into it. So we have a, it was advertised as a mystery box. I'm not going to hold it against them. I kind of figured it would come in an envelope. But this show's called Too Many Boxes. And there was no way for them to know that, so it's fine. This is from Core Gaming in New Hampshire. It's a retro game store out there. Uh, I was looking for new mystery boxes to try for Too Many Boxes. And they had a bunch to choose from. So this is different than Retro Game Treasure and Video Game Monthly. There's no... Uh, inventory system you just pick which one you want you pay for it and they send it to you I decided since I have the least amount of Game Boy and Game Boy Color games I think like nine between both of those I figured I would try the five Game Boy slash Game Boy Color games and let's see what we got I believe I paid $19.99 for this I don't have very many Game Boy games it's a system that eventually I would like to get more into collecting so I'm pretty Pretty stoked. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this open. Watch me cut myself. Alright, just gonna feel inside. Wait. It's in another envelope. Okay. So it's in another little thing here. So it should be pretty easy to do this blind. I can just reach down in. And we'll see how this goes. They have a bunch of different kinds of mystery boxes. I figured I would just focus on the systems I don't have very many games for. Uh, they have like Super Famicom, Game Boy Advance. I might try some of the other stuff like um, Nintendo, Atari, the ones I have more games for, but it's more than likely I'll get probably a few duplicates. So it feels like it's in a, I think this will be harder than I thought doing it's blind. It's in like a, another Ziploc baggie. Okay, we, we finally got in there. Let's go ahead. We'll start with the first game. It feels like a Game Boy Color game. We got, uh, it looks like a Shrek. Is it a Shrek? Shrek Fairy Tale Freakdown. So I have a Shrek game. I think I have Shrek the Third. I do not have this. I am kind of worried about this possibly just being a bunch of licensed shovelware, <laughs> but uh, we will see. I look forward to checking this out. I'll let you know what I think. So first game, Shrek, whatever the subtitle was. <laughs> Shrek, Fairy Tale Freakdown was published by TDK Mediactive in 2001. This, this is a fighting game. I was not expecting that. Street Fighter, it is not though. It is pretty bad. I was expecting that. <laughs> I don't know how much play this will ever actually get. Maybe one day I will try to see if I can play through the whole thing for the lols. Maybe get a video out of it, I don't know. I do want to know who was smoking what when they decided to make this. And what the heck did they do to my boy Shrek here? You can tell he has seen some stuff. There is definitely trauma here. Alright, second game. We have any more Game Boy Color. I'm trying to f feel him out. I think this is a Game Boy Color. So second up, we got well, it looks like another cartoon game. I just dropped the rest on the floor. So was that 102 Dalmatians? 102 Dalmatians, puppies to the rescue. So we we will see how that is. Let me know if you guys have ever played any of these games. But second up, we have 102 Dalmatians, puppies to the rescue. 102 Dalmatians, Puppies to the Rescue was published by Activision in the year 2000. 
This one was actually kind of fun. You play as one of the puppies who needs to find a key in every level in order to be able to release the other puppies who are locked in cages. I played this for much longer than I had intended to. Now, it's not great by any means, but it was competent, and after playing that Shrek game, that meant a lot. <laughs> again, nothing groundbreaking, but there is some fun to be had here. I'll probably play this one again. I think this is a, a regular Game Boy. I need I need a table. I need a better setup here. Next up, we got The Lion King. So I wonder if this is the same game that's on the 16-bit consoles. It's weird cover art because like the name The Lion King is just real small on it. And then the rest of it is like copyright and trademark stuff, so that's interesting. Uh, I think I'm most excited about this one so far, so we'll see uh, The Lion King. See if it's the same game and see if it's just as hard. The Lion King was published in 1994 by Virgin Interactive Entertainment. It is based on some obscure movie that was released the same year to little fanfare. Several months ago, I had gotten the Game Gear version of this game in a box, and it did not impress me very much. A lot of the issues that I had with that version, I also have with this one. The chief complaint would be how Simon, or whatever the line's name is, controls. Everything I tried to do just felt like a chore, and I found myself constantly missing jumps because the controls were just so unresponsive. I didn't play this for very long, but as far as I can tell, it seems to be a shrunk down version of the 16-bit versions. I probably would have gotten some enjoyment out of it if I had this for my Game Boy when I was a kid, but as an adult with limited time on my hands, I don't see this being one that I play too much. Alright, three down. Two more to go. Alright. So, up next we got... Wow, it's a bases loaded. I just got the first bases loaded for the NES from v VGM. Uh, I wonder if this is the XM game. Is this just bases loaded? It says it's just called bases loaded for a Game Boy. So, that'd be cool to compare it, see if it's pretty much the same game. Let me know if you played bases loaded for the Game Boy. We got bases loaded. Bases Loaded was published in 1990 by Jalico. Now, I've heard other people say Jalico. I think it's Jalico. Let me know where you stand in the great uh, Jalico Jalico war. Now, I recently got the NES Bases Loaded in a VGM box, and this is not the same game. I'm not very big on sports ball games, which you know if you've watched me for a little while, but I can usually have some fun with older sports titles. I wasn't wild about Bases Loaded on the NES, but I actually had a bit more fun with this Game Boy game. I'm not sure why exactly, besides the more traditional camera view while batting. I think it just boils down to the fact that I was better at this version than the NES one. I'll come back to play some more of this for sure. Let me know where this game stands in the realm of baseball games on the Game Boy. Last game. Let's hope it's a winner. We'll see. Who knows? Uh, Shrek Fairy Tale Freak Down or Freak? What was that called? It is called Fairy Tale Freak Down. What does that mean? Might be the greatest game ever. I don't know. We'll see. So, last game. Regular Game Boy. We got. Oh no. Play action football. <sighs> so, <laughs> I have the NES version of this. It's like a weird, so I, I don't know football games very well, just in general, but this game on the NES is in like a weird isometric view and it made it even harder for me to understand. So again, I'll compare this and see if this is the exact same game. Not sure, but uh, let's take a look. 
We got Play Action Football. Play Action Football was published in 1990 by Nintendo. This is another sports ball title that I have on the NES, but that is not the same game as the one I have on that system. This time, it's a different shaped ball, and I prefer the NES version to this one. I thought at first when I started a game that I would enjoy this one more because of the change in gameplay view, but it just didn't click for me. I am completely unqualified to rate sports titles. You should keep that in mind, always. And my opinion is solely shaped by how well I can do with the game. I was better at the NES version, therefore that is the one I prefer. It's as simple as that. <laughs> I'll probably give this one another shot in the future, but it probably won't be anytime soon. Let me know where this stands in the field of Game Boy football games and how you think it compares to the NES version. Okay, so I, I had no idea what to expect with this. It was kind of along the lines of what I was expecting. I was kind of hoping maybe they would slip in uh, a higher quality, cheaper title. But again, uh, who knows? Maybe maybe this version of Lion King is very good. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, we'll go ahead and do the totals uh, against what I paid and we'll see if it was worth it. But quick recap, we have play action football for the Game Boy. We have Bases Loaded for the Game Boy. We have The Lion King for the Game Boy. We have 102 Dalmatians Puppies to the Rescue for the Game Boy Color. And we have Shrek Fairy Tale Freakdown for the Game Boy Color. Uh, my pick of the bag, <laughs> I honestly, I'm gonna say The Lion King because I'm very curious to see is this just a port of like the Genesis and um, Super NES version? Don't know, we'll see. Let me know if you've played that. Let me know if you've played any of these. Let me know what your pick of the bag is. And uh, let me know what you think. Should I try another one from Core Gaming or should I move on to Greener Pastures? Let me know. I wanna thank everyone for watching. I hope you have a beautiful day and I will see you next time. Ah.